Hey guys, the video I have for you, I have lost the video where I went out there and diagnosed. This is an old York system. And when I got there, the condenser fan was not running. So I pulled the wire off the defrost control board and I put it on the contactor and it started running. So I used what Ted calls a Jimmy Wiggler. It's a splitter to put both of my wires for the defrost control board for the condenser fan motor on one spot. And I noticed that the contactor was all rusted and corroded. So we're replacing the contactor and the defrost control board on this one. And that board was kind of hard to find. So that's what leads up to this. Here we go. guys we're changing this board I'm going to I have this bypassed because I wasn't getting power to my fan motor so we're going to change this board I'm also going to change this contactor she passed up a heart attack and maybe was thinking maybe genetic or whatever so we don't know well that's kind of scary to hear that you're 52 and you had a heart attack yeah I don't blame her. <laughs> this this little board was kind of hard to find. I figured that. I go with that unit. Oh. Let me see, can we tell on this on um, cereal? I do not know how to tell with these numbers right here, but it's probably mid 90s or something. I mean, it's a it's an older system. Magnetize that. Ooh. Something on that board is hot. I just put my fingers on the back of that board and it is smoking hot. They come out the fence. <laughs> you need to get him something to play with. Everything I get for him, he destroyed. He destroyed. I did. When he was a young, I say a young dog. He's like eight years old now. I, I bought him this nice wooden doghouse. Yeah. Nice. He literally ate it up. Ate literally it. Literally ate it, yes. Chew, chew, chewed on it. I had to take it out, yes. And that's how I wound up getting that egg. He tried to eat that. I, uh, we just got a little puppy and 
his adult teeth are just now starting to come in. And he is chewing on everything. I had a, I just got new glasses. I got a couple pair while I was getting them. And uh, he got a hold of my other pair, chewed the lenses out of them. And then the, you know, the lenses is made out of plastic. Right, right. And then he chewed up the lenses. <laughs> and they're brand new. <laughs> so I was a little upset. But, but what do you do? I left him where he could get them, so. Right. She didn't abandon him no. somewhere. I got him for the kids. I knew it was going to happen. We'll feed him and water him every day, Daddy. <laughs> How'd that work out? Yeah, it did. something real quick. <clears throat> I may have to go in and check on your air handler. Is it in a closet or is it up in the attic? It's in uh it's in the closet in my son's room. Okay. I had to move some stuff out of there. Yeah. All right. Let me see what kind of I got one screw holding that in. Before I forget about it. Yeah. That board was getting hot. It's still warm. Right there where those resistors are. something down and then I can't find it. Still don't see it.
Alright. Both of those were in the same one. What is that for? <laughs> All right, white's on the right and the other two on the left. I'm sorry if y'all can't see that. Somebody didn't pull that off right. I didn't cut it. goes over here.
All right. Check out my wiring. I got all black on one side, red on the other. All right, let's see if we can go in and turn it on. I need to ask you, you're probably going to appear in this video. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> R22, that's not terribly bad. But we are going to probably charge that. Point seven sub cooling, forty two super heat. It just needs a little bit. Sub cooling up to 10. Super heat's dropping. Well, let's watch it. I think this should be a little bit higher. It's about 75 in there. Superheat's coming down, or it 
was. Self cooling is doing good. This has a piston on it. All right, just a little bit more. So cooling is rising, I'm up to 12.4. I was. I want to see that super heat come down. If this would stay up around 75, I'd probably leave it. All right guys, sorry I cut off right there, but I added just a little too much refrigerant the next time I added refrigerant and I ended up having to pull out my recovery drum and just blow a little bit in there. I had gotten my superheat down to two degrees and I ended up leaving it at 11 degrees where it was. So um, everything worked out fine with that one. I think he'll be good for another year or so, which is what he was wanting. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.